Well, well, here we go. Mary's big day today. She is going to have diamond removed from the paddock. So in preparation, got the old horse float hooked up. Mary's going to go to Merton where there's some nice grass and the horses are just coming up now. So I'm gonna grab some hay bags and I'm actually going to put the, the foal with her granddad, Izzy, in that round yard down there. Um, so they're relatively safe, or Mary mostly, relatively safe, can't hurt herself. Um, Cause I'm guessing, even though she was very quiet when I separated her from her mum yesterday, when I put Diamond in the float, Diamond's gonna start screaming and Mary might panic. So I'm trying to do it the safest way I can. So um, here goes. Okay, so I've managed to get all three of them in the round yard. I've got a halter on Diamond, put some hay nets out so that Everyone's got some food, which will hopefully keep them occupied when I take Diamond away. Diamond's ready to go, sort of. But I think Diamond knows what's happening. Mary doesn't. Do you, he? She doesn't know what's going on. So the next step, <laughs> try and get Diamond out of the yard without bringing Mary with me. Uh, all right, so phase two complete. On to the next step. Well, that's Mary on the inside with Grandad. Diamond on the outside. So they're just taking a minute to say goodbye. Or not. Diamond doesn't know it, but she's got some lovely lucerne in the float. The others are just getting normal hay. But Mary should be all right. We'll see how we go. I'll just grab my rope here. Give mummy a kiss goodbye. You won't see her for a little while. Me, good girl. Mummy a kiss. Good girl. All right, come mummy horse. Let's go. Oh, it's wet here, and as you can see, there's actually Frost on the ground. Minus 3.7 degrees here this morning. So just take a look. Alright, let's get going, Diamond. Okay. Here he goes, slowly, slowly. So far, Mary is just kind of looking. She's neighed a couple of times as he's gone back to his, his hay. He's a typical boy. Way to his heart, it's through his stomach, especially if it's licorice. Typically for Diamond, has not moved in the float. I certainly can't see horses galloping up the paddock behind me. It's a six foot round yard, so I'm hoping that that won't happen. She's got food, she's got water. She's got a granddad who's a big grump, so probably isn't much comfort to her, but 
Oh well. Next stop, Merton. Well, we have arrived. Oh, hi. Hi. Hang on, you gotta wait. Good girl. I haven't opened the tailgate yet. Oh, beautiful day here. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Righto, how'd you come? That's a girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Diamond's just happy to have food that she doesn't have to share. She does have some friends over in the bushes over there, but the creek's up and they can't get to the fence. Otherwise, there's a lovely little filly of my neighbours that I'm sure she'd try and adopt. But she's happy. So now we'll go home and see how Bob is doing. Well, I've arrived back. There seems to be two horses standing up in the yard. Always a good thing. It's not too bad here now. Probably not that warm in the yard. I'm glad I didn't take Izzy's rug off this morning. Hey, Miri. How you going, little girl? Hi, Mary. Hello. Oh, you have to be in the middle of everything, don't you? Hey, grumpy turd bucket. Hmm. Are you being mean to your granddaughter? They're still hay there, so they're not starving. Hi, Mary. Hello, baby. Hi, baby. Hi. Jealous of everything, aren't you? Yeah, turd head. Baby girl, you coming out? Don't you stand in the gateway like a turd. Me? Eh? Big turd. Oh, don't stand on my foot either. You coming, Mary? Come on. Good girl. Whoa! And they've gone, oh, yummy, Lucerne. Better learn to eat faster, young lady. Is that because he's tied up? 
but he hasn't come to steal your food. Grumpy Grandad. Hmm? Good baby. Ooh, starting to chill off now. I always sound like I'm puffing. I don't know why. Mary's finished her dinner. Um, I've just let Izzy go. So he's gone to eat what's left of her dinner. She's going to have a scratch. There's a bloody beautiful foal that I love dearly. 